I could write one book, maybe I could write two books, then three books, then four books. Listen to me, there ain't nothing you can't do. When you handle your business, money will come and chase you. But you gotta be the best person you can be so that you can even be trusted with money and wealth y'all like being a, like knowing from where I've come from and being a failure for so long in my life to be able to see my wife look at the different floor tiles to be able to say you know what I want this type of flooring in the kitchen I want this type of hardwood in the living room you know I want a garden in the backyard I was gardening like what I look like garden you know what I'm saying I got zucchinis and squashes on deck you know what I'm saying <laughs> And this was like, this was like a vast, listen, but you gotta hear me out. This was the vast difference from the lifestyle I was living before. Doing drugs, selling weed by the pound, robbing people. Listen to me, y'all. I, when I tell you I was broken, I was broken for years. My story was, I'm 36 years old. For years, my story was like this. And I just, I got tired of failing. I said, man, I want more out of life. So I'm just giving y'all pieces of my story. But listen to me, I started changing my brain and when I changed my brain, everything else fell into place because what you think is what you say. What you say is what you do. What you do on a continual basis becomes a habit. Your habits create your character and your character determines your destiny. One more time, I wanna make sure you get it, right? What you think is what you say. What you say is what you do. What you do on a continual basis becomes a habit. Your habits create your character and your character determines your destiny. It all starts right here within the brain. So I'm real cautious even now of what I feed my brain. I'm real cautious of when I feed my mind. I'm real cautious of who I hang out with now. I'm trying to connect with people that's going places because I'm tired of going to funerals and I'm tired of seeing friends get locked up and I want more for people. And so listen to me, y'all. Let me tell you what Next Level Living is all about. It ain't about us. Most people in the world will tell you don't live for nobody else. You should live for yourself. I'm not that guy. I lived for myself for a long time, and I became rotten. My life was a disaster. And when I began to think of other people, how can I enhance other people's lives? How can I pour into other people? How can I be a blessing to other people? Man, when I shifted my brain and said, how can I make communities better? How can I make schools better? How can I make our country better? Ooh, things begin to shift for me. So now everything is great. Like I'm not hurting people no more. I'm legit. I got a great credit score. Me and my wife, we built a house. I'm traveling all over and speaking and still in corporate America. And then one day I got a word. And I said, you know what? It's time for me to quit my job. Shh, watch this. My wife was like, what you mean quit your job? I said, boo, like, let me just explain, because my wife not bougie, but she like nice things, you know what I'm saying? I said, boo, I just feel like I've experienced so much, so much pain, I've made so many mistakes. I'm like, boo, there's a whole new generation out here that needs what I have to say. And if I'm in these board meetings and I'm doing all this and I'm making this company all this money, it's people out here that don't know that they can like bounce back after life. So I said, I'm thinking about like, quitting my job and just writing books to inspire this new generation. We start a nonprofit, we travel the country and we speak life to people. The same thing that was spoken to me. And my wife was like, let me tell you something. If you think that you about to just quit this job and you about to travel the country and you gonna leave me here to raise our daughter and I have to work, you tripping. I'm like, well boo, I'm, I'm telling you this is what I'm supposed to do. She said, well if that's what you're supposed to do, then that's what we supposed to do. And listen to me. Listen to me, that next level, y'all. We, listen to me, we, we, when we got married, we became one. So she said, if this is your purpose and calling, then it's my purpose and calling. And so now, I get to travel the globe. This guy that was a high school material, this guy that went to three different schools trying to get my mind right for the ninth grade. This guy that failed over and over and over again. This guy that was out here robbing and selling drugs and doing drugs and alcohol. This guy that felt like I was worth nothing. I fly to Africa. I've been to Africa twice this year and I'm going back with my wife in December. Australia, India, Canada, Jamaica, Bermuda, Grand Cayman Islands. Listen to me, watch this, watch this. Everything in my life changed when my mind changed. Hey, what's up? I hope you enjoyed today's video and check this out. You gotta subscribe because I've got so many more videos in store for you. And when they come out, I want them to come directly to you. So click subscribe and let's keep building together.